this is our unboxing for the Zopa Q600 Mantis drone. We received one of these drones to unbox and this is the, the one that we got. Now the drone, as you can see the boxing that it comes in, it's a bit big. So you can actually see uh, in the review, I actually wrote about it and said that, you know, I found the box was a bit big uh, for the drone. I wish it was maybe a bit, um, a bit more elongated because, you know, how it's designed, how this box is designed is, you know, to sort of fit the drone and everything else that comes with it. Uh, including the controller and all that other stuff that you get with the drone. So, but other than that, you know, taking apart the box is pretty simple. You just, you know, undo the, the seams on the side and then you just sort of slide it out. There's a, a white plastic, uh, you know, shielding that's inside the box that holds everything in place and keeps it all together. All right. So you have the drone and you have its propellers. Now the propel the drone comes all assembled, which is something that's good for someone who is a beginner. If you're a beginner drone flyer, it's nice getting a drone whereby everything comes um, assembled. As you can see, what I'm holding in my hand is the camera. This is the camera that you get in a drone. It's an HD camera. It, it captures really good, decent footage. It's not gonna, you know, it's nothing compared to like. Uh, what you would find on a GoPro or anything like that, but it's a decent camera. It takes really good shots. You also get the manual, which is underneath the plastic. This is something that's very important. I highly recommend you read when you get the drone. Um, it comes with a catalog as well. You don't need a catalog. You can just toss that aside unless, of course, you're planning to buy other drones. Um, and if you are, you just go to the website, right? Um, so it comes with a catalog. It comes with, you know, some in some warning stuff. We don't, no one ever reads the warning stuff, but the manual, you have to read this manual. Trust me when I say you want to read this manual on your first try flying that drone because it is very important. You also get these legs that you put on the base of the drone. Now you can choose not to add the legs or you can choose to add them. We chose to add the legs to our drone, uh, but it doesn't really seem to help in the sense of landing the drone because the drone sort of bounces when it lands and those are plastic legs. So they don't really, they just bounce. You know, I think most drones bounce when you land them. Uh, unless of course it's landed by some automated software or something like that. You also get the charging cable, the, the adapter. You get an attachment for it that you connect the, the battery to and then you get the battery. Now, this whole charging mechanism looks a bit complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. You just connect the cable to it and it it just charges. When it's finished, uh, the light turns off and um, you know the, the charging light turns off and you're, you're good to go. Now, other than that, you get this sort of shock absorber for the camera now the thing to note with the shock absorber for this camera is that attaching it to the drone is a bit complicated especially when you have to try and find the screw holes so what i've done is i've actually i've actually outlined for you where the screws would go on the drone because you have to connect four two are very apparent where they go the other two those are the ones that i circled out all right so you want to make sure that you screw those in properly so that you have them all solidly connected so then you get this really cool thing that I, I actually really really like which is an sd card reader and um i've actually wanted a usb sd card reader for a while so it's nice getting one with a drone i'm actually going to use it for a lot of other stuff but while i take out the drone back to the controller the controller is pretty standard it's a bit of a big controller but the main thing to, to note is that the sort of throttle stick that stick seems a bit loose but that's just how it's supposed to feel so it will feel a bit loose but it's supposed to feel like that so the, the drone itself it has a not that much weight to it it's really light um but it doesn't feel cheap it, it feels sort of um it's in between light and um and that cheap feeling especially when you add in the battery to it it, it does have a little weight to it and it feels it feels good it, it feels good and especially for a beginner drone i mean this drone is, is priced at about 130 us so it's uh for the price you're paying for it i think it's it's not bad especially the propellers they seem really well built but the main thing that you're going to be interfacing with is that remote control and i want to say about the remote control is that it is big the the joysticks on the right hand side feel good the one on the left feels a bit loose but that's just how it's supposed to feel apparently the biggest you have with it is the batteries this thing uses six AA batteries that is really annoying in this day and age it should be rechargeable i i really didn't like that aspect about it other than that the controller does feel comfortable in your hand it just feels light and a bit cheap uh when you hold on to the controller uh, in comparison to the drone itself, which doesn't feel cheap, the controller does feel cheap. It feels light. It feels a lot bigger than it should feel, I guess. Um, but it does. It is comfortable. That is. And there are so many buttons on it as well that you're probably gonna get confused, which is why you need that manual. 
Uh, but I guess that's it. Pretty much that's the end of our unboxing for the drone. Thank you very much for watching our unboxing of the Super Q600. If you want to find out more about this drone and what it's like to pilot it and use it and all that kind of stuff, make sure to head on over to our website, thebuttonsmashers.com. There'll be a link in the description and probably in the annotations as well for the full review for this drone. We will also have a video review for the drone at a later point in time because we're still capturing footage off the drone to use for the video review and yeah so we'll have that at a later point in time so thank you for watching this unboxing if you enjoyed it make sure to hit a like and subscribe to this youtube channel and also check out our website thebuttonsmashers.com